Hi guys, um, I'm sorry I couldn't be in class today, so I figured I'd do the next best thing and walk you through your assignment step by step in this video lesson. So by now you should already be in your in your ensemble groups that I've assigned. Um, you should have gone in Schoology, opened up the composition project, and you'll see ensemble groups. So you should be all together right now. Uh, the, t the proctor for this class uh, is going to pass out, has already passed out uh, this, this template here for composing our ostinatos. Um, so you should each have one of these. All right. Going into Schoology, uh, open up uh, composing with an ostinato and selecting instruments. There you're going to see a whole list of instruments that you can choose from. And in my composition today, so these are the, will be the instruments that you choose uh, for your whole project. Okay, you're going to keep these instruments throughout and continue to compose with them. Um, so the instruments I want to compose for today in my example are from the list. Uh, I think I'll use crash cymbals. That's the hand crashing. Tambourine. And how about snare drum? And again, these are your choices. So I've got my instrument names already. Okay, the next thing, meter, tempo dynamics. So my meter, I want to use, I want to use four four for this composition. I've got my meters. The tempo, easy enough. I think uh, I'll keep this at one twenty. So notice I wrote quarter note equals 120. So when we set our metronome, uh, you can listen to your, your pulse by uh, setting the metronome number, the metronome marking to 120. So I'll write my first measure, okay? Pretty simple rhythms. I think using simple rhythms is really a, a good idea because we want this to be something that the ensemble can stay together on. If it's some really complex thing, then it'll be kind of challenging to do that. Now your ostinato can be two measures long, but uh, you can also make it one measure and just use this as a repeat, okay? Uh, the thing to remember also is that this is all sounding together. So my crash cymbals, my tambourine, and my snare drum, they're all sounding together. So I have to think, how are these things gonna sound when, when they're happening all at once? So that's why I think keeping it simple is a good idea. These ostinatos are, or ostinati, are going to be used throughout your whole piece. We're writing a, a longer piece, and we'll use these, um, we'll decide where we want to put these throughout our piece in our next class when I'm here. I'll keep going, maybe do something a little more interesting. I'm going to use a rim click. Um, that's kind of a standard symbol for a rim click. Um, and you'll notice my lines are getting a little funny. So. I want to start getting a little clearer with my lines, um, that is my stems and my beams. So I've got my trusty library card. Get that going. And all of a sudden, it looks like a professional score. So I think it's a good idea to have a straight edge around, um, you know, library card, credit card, if, if you have one. And I'm using another repeat sign. Uh, so the last thing here, dynamics. In this section, maybe I want to keep everything kind of 
tame. I'll keep it at mezzo forte. But maybe I want the snare drum to stand out just a little bit because that rim click could get lost. So maybe I'll have this whole snare drum part uh, at forte so that it speaks a little more. So write my ensemble name, my, the members in your group uh, at the top, and that's it. So if you feel like you've got it, then you can stop watching. But if you want to see me do another one uh, with the same instrumentation, I'll do it right now. Um, so I've got my old one, and this, is, this will be the second of three. You need three total um, from your group. So again, get your name, your members on there. And I'm just going to go right down the list. These are what I need from you guys. And we have to keep composing for the same instruments, right? So I'll abbreviate just so that we move things along. Crash cymbals, tambourine. I'd like you to write it out still, though. Snare drum. Keep things nice and neat for me, okay? I want to be able to read your, your, your parts just as well as you can, okay? Keeping it in 4-4. Four, four. So I'm going to keep going here in Four, four. I've got my instrument names. I've got my meter. I've got a tempo. I'm going to keep it at 120. In your composition, you could definitely have different sections that have, have different uh, tempi and different meters. But for right now, I just want to keep it simple for you guys. But that's definitely something that could change, right? You could all be playing in 4-4 four, four and then switch to 2-4, right? So that's something that you could do, um, but not required. This stuff is required. So, instrument names, meter, tempo, dynamics. Well, I need to write something, so here we go, uh, real quick. Um, I'm gonna do something kind of different here. Into three. Again, trying to keep things nice and neat. You know what? I screwed that up. It's best to just get out the old card and tidy things up. And again, I could choose to make this a two-measure ostinato if you want to get creative. But for the sake of time, I'll make this a one-measure ostinato using my, my measure key. Okay, tambourine. Now, I want you to notice... I was going to write some eighth notes here, but I think it's important that we line the beats up because it makes it look easier. So I'm going to move these, these eighths over so that they line up with beat two of this first one, right? Here's the rest in my first one. And we want beat two lined up all the way down. It just makes it way easier to read and, and that sort of thing. Um... So, that's looking good. There's another measure. There we go. Repeat sign. Uh, snare drum. Taking a slightly more advanced rhythm. One E and. Oh, I'm late for class. One E and, two and, three. So I'll rest on three. And play on beat four. Again, this is a simple rhythm, but these all sounding together is going to sound pretty dense and, and kind of cool, right? Um, so once once you have these patterns, uh, you could possibly get a practice pad uh, as a group and, and play these out. Okay. Great. It's taken me about 10 minutes to write two just by myself. So I would figure a bunch of smart guys like you could write 10 in 40 minutes, but I'll only ask for three, okay? Here's one, here's another. Remember, these sound all at the same time, okay? Uh, oh, dynamics, didn't add them. I'm gonna make everything piano, okay? This is why I do this on this assignment. Make sure that you, you know what you need to do, right? So this now is looking good. If you do have questions, Go to Schoology, read Lesson 1, and then also read Assignment 1, okay? Uh, I hope you guys do a great job. I know you will. Uh, can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks very much.